Hey guys, it's Briartrot here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, my cat's going to be joining us today because he doesn't want to leave me alone while I film this. So it has been a hot minute. Um, I started college uh, my sophomore year. Oh yeah, my cat likes to lick people. Um, so I've been doing that online. Yay. Um, so I have been able to be home with all my ponies and my real life horse coach. So that's been great. But I haven't been able to keep up with YouTube as much as I would like to. I'm going to try and start posting a little more um, consistently, but it's just a lot. I'm still working three days a week and then still have a normal college schedule. So it's been a little hectic, but I'm still trying to be as active as I can on Instagram. Yeah, we're just gonna, this is kind of like an updated video. And then also to show you guys all the ponies that I've gotten since I've last spoken to you. You are really in the way, aren't you? Okay, so I've ended up acquiring quite a few new horses. Uh, I went a little crazy like m middle of August, like being actually like beginning of August, like right after Briarfest, just like settling down and everything. <laughs> so um, basically in like one day, I ended up buying six horses, six or seven. Um, in about a week and I started a little conga so yeah I'm gonna be showing you all those horses I got today along with the surprise horse that I ended up picking up I did film an unboxing video when I got her it took about a month for her to get to me because she shipped from Canada so that was kind of annoying but um she got here she's great I love her but I filmed an unboxing video but it just came out so bad that I just could not post it I would be just too embarrassed so I'm just gonna show her here along with uh, all the horses that I ended up getting. Along with this box that I got today that um, makes me almost complete the conga. I just need one more horse and we'll talk about that more once we get to it. But let's just unbox her so you guys could see, or him, you guys could see what uh, model mold I'm talking about. If you can't tell, and I'm pretty sure I already mentioned it, it is a stable main mold. Um, and it's a relatively new one, so I might actually be able to accomplish uh, cleaning it. I can. It's definitely very obtainable right now, but we'll talk more about that in a sec. I'd love to try and do like a cool transition, but we're just gonna unravel him right here. Oh. Very nicely um, packaged. I got him off of Facebook. That's it, the freaking Facebook auction. That's what's getting me. I shouldn't have joined that page. I avoided it for so long, but here she is, or he is. Wow, I really like this guy. Okay, so if you can't tell, I'm conging the walking thoroughbred mold. Um, I fell in love with it after, well, the first one I got, I got my first semester of college. You guys can go see me unboxing that one. My friend Jill gifted him to me. So that was really awesome. And I was like, wow, I really like this mold. Like really, really like it. So now I decided to conga it after I got Jersey. Well, oop, I gotta show you guys that, but I already posted about that on my Instagram, but I'll show you all the rest I have. And then right now I just need one more and then I have the full conga. So yay. All right, so first one, um, this one is just part of the um, blind bags. I think it's the second series. I should really know this better. But uh, yeah, that's the one I got. He's $4 plus shipping. So it was like, it would be the same price if I went and picked it up at Walmart or wherever myself. But yeah, let's start showing you guys the other horses that I got. All right, we're just gonna start off with my one traditional since I'm sure she's the most exciting but uh this is the surprise horse that i ended up getting i got her off of facebook um like the auction page i was really i was so hard picking between whether i wanted the silver black or the appaloosa or this girl but i ended up getting this girl and i really really love her but that just makes me want the other two that i really want even more so maybe next briar fest if i find one for a good deal i'll snatch them up i really love this mold it's my first uh realistic horse on this mold i do have the unicorn she's right there if you guys can't see um but yeah i was really impressed with her uh i don't have that many palomitos in my collection i'm not sure why because I, I do really like this coloring and i really what really got me was the little spots on her stomach but yeah she's really pretty i'm really happy i decided to go with this one but 
I am really wanting those other two so eventually hopefully they'll be making my way making their way into my collection but for now we just have this really pretty girl like I said she's from Canada um what did I say that I think I said that um so it took about a month for her to ship to me uh which was really annoying it was only supposed to take two weeks but customs held her there for like a few weeks so that was not fun but she's here now and I'm really excited uh she's really nicely done uh just some main flaws but I feel like most of them had that problem uh so yeah I'm curious to see how she'll show she does have quite nice shading so I'm really excited and I have some cute pictures of her on my Instagram if you want to go check that out. Okay, now for my new almost completed conga. So I just want to preface this by saying that it's a completed conga of all the horses that are actually painted. There are quite a few, well actually no, I'm still missing one, but there are quite a few that are, I think there's a clear glass or clearware um, unicorn and a just like blank unicorn and I think one other like blank painting one. So I will try and get those eventually, but half and half, pe I asked you guys on Instagram, uh, which, like if it mattered and it was kind of half and half. Um, a lot of people said, yeah, you need them for the completed conga. And other people said it didn't matter. Um, but I don't know, I'll probably more slowly end up getting them, but I'm really just worried about getting the horses that are actually painted. I also would love to get a custom done of my horse coach, even though I need to get a traditional done of him, but I cannot decide on the life of me for a mold that I want to use, but I just, I need to figure that out. It's so bad. I keep putting it off because like one day I think like, oh, he could be the Lonesome Glory mold and oh, what's some other contenders? I kind of got the strapless mold, but I feel like it's a little too fancy and I already have a flea bit and gray on that mold. The mold that brass hat is on i forgot what it's called, like the mccarrick mold that mold i considered but i know that one has wonky confirmation but coach doesn't have perfect confirmation either uh and yeah there's quite a few right now lonesome glory is like my top one but i still don't know because i feel like i don't know there's just too many factors i can't decide okay let's just get into this so i'm gonna go in order of how i got them um and then yeah, you guys could see, see my conga that I got going here. So I'll start off by just showing you guys. This one I already did have and I showed you in um, the video of me unboxing all the random horses that I got. So yeah, this is just the green one. I think this was the series one, so that blue one must be series two. And I'm just keeping them right there for now. So yes, here's my second unicorn. Next, I did end up getting Jersey. Uh, I was really debating whether or not I want I wanted to get a single day stablemate because I really like them this year I almost got the complete set but I was like yeah I don't need it but you know I, I probably should have but uh Jersey is absolutely my favorite I was debating whether getting him or the Cory Dam Shimini um but decided to go with him because I was just really obsessed with his coloring it's just so like nicely done especially for a stablemate and he absolutely did not disappoint at all. I was so happy with how he turned out. Again, got him off a of Facebook auction place thing, but yeah, I just, I really, really love him. He definitely made me fall in love with the mold. And this is where it all started to go downhill and I got four horses, or really, it was like all kind of within a week, but like really within like two days that I kind of went crazy. But there was one day in particular where I was like, oh, I really want to conga this mold. And then everybody was just like, oh, I have this horse for sale. I'll sell you this horse. So then I ended up with a lot. Really started with me seeing this guy for sale on Elisa's Instagram. I'll post her username right here because I don't want to say it wrong. But um, yeah, this guy is the mini brass hat that I think it was 2018. Yes. Or 2019 this might have been 2019 where they made like the past oh yes it was because it was 30th anniversary where they made a lot of the past celebration horses into stable versions so um yeah she was selling them for like 10 bucks and i was just like oh, i i do want to call me that mold like this i might as well start now um and then yeah i i got him i snatched him up uh so i was really happy with that he's really cute he has really nice shading i took a really cute picture of him the other day of him and my big brass hat and they look so cute together and i just i really he's a simple bay but 
really nicely done and like you could tell like he's a limited edition bay as compared to I have this girl sitting right here oh yeah I got this horse too um she came with the uh surprise horse that I got I didn't even know it was just a nice surprise but she's just been chilling there and I mean honestly for a grab bag regular one she's still really nice but like you could tell they put a lot of effort into that but again this bay is still like really nice I was surprised so on that same day, um, I got Grayson. I think I, this was the next one I got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Grayson was the next one I found. Um, he is another one of the more limited ones on the molds. I think he was the first one on the mold, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because the name, the other name is Grayson. Uh, so he was a part of the Stablemate Club release um, for like the new molds. Um, so he actually came new in his packaging, but I wanted him to stand with everybody else. So I took him out, but it came in the cute little, um, stable mate box, but he's actually pretty cool looking. Um, I'm usually not a fan of like the white face, like fully like white bald face, but he is pretty cool. He has a really interesting pattern. Um, not my favorite out of the horses. I think Jersey is honestly my favorite, but he is still really cute and just a really like different color especially on a stable mate mold it's so impressive what they do with these little molds and i think i got him for about 25 dollars i want to say all right and then i got this guy um he is really he has so much chrome the sun's like going down as i'm filming this this is not helping me um he just has so much chrome to him i it's just it's so pretty uh so this one is a part of like a marin foal type set uh which is weird because he's definitely not a mare but um yeah so he came with a little stalemate it's up high on my shelf so I'm not gonna go grab it down but I got him from a realtor and she told me that she had him and I was like oh how do you know like if he's still in the box she's like oh I just checked and I was like oh okay that works so she sent me this guy um I think it was around 10 bucks but I got the two horses and he was completely like new like she just peeked in to see the bubble wrapping to see who it was but yeah, he's actually, he's really cool too. I swear, like all these horses are so different, which I feel is just like so fun in a conga because like a lot of horses, if you make so many, they end up looking slightly similar, but this is a newer mold and it also does have the unicorn variation, which is also really fun. And last up, this is my second newest one, I believe. This guy is one of the clear wear horses where you could see right through them basically. Uh, he's really cool. He has a lot of glitter and a lot of glitter on the tail. I like just, I finally like appreciated him the other day because I was like holding him in the sunlight and I was like, oh, he's actually really cool. So yeah, that's one of the clear wear horses. Sparkles are like literally engraved in his mold. So that's really cool. Like you could see how like it goes to the middle with sparkles. It, it's pretty cool. It's impressive what they could do with this stuff. But then he does have like glitter that you can feel on his mane and tail. But it doesn't even like come off. So good job. I feel like glitter always gets anywhere no matter how strongly adhesed you have it on. So I do only need one more horse like I was saying before. And that is the Fantasy Club horse. I just cannot find him for sale anywhere. So if you do see him for sale or yours is for sale, please let me know. I've seriously been looking everywhere and he's just not for sale anywhere. Um, so that kind of stings, but yeah. But yeah, those are all the new horses that I've gotten since I've last talked to you guys. Um, so like my Briarfest haul. Um, I do still have cheesecake coming in in December. We're all gonna forget that we ordered these horses and then they're just randomly gonna show up on our doorstep and be like, oh yeah, I ordered that glossy horse. So he's, I'm so excited to, I'm really looking forward to him. I wonder how much they actually ended up selling of him. I'm really, really curious because it was like pre-order and there didn't really seem to be a limit. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be really exciting to see. That's all I have for you. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram at xxbridetrot. I try to be pretty active on there. And yeah, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you already haven't. And most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye.